In the second Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 teaser, the one titled Restricted Disappearance, we see that two of the team members look like the world's most famous soccer players, Ronaldo and Messi. European football is called soccer in the United States, so it won't be confused with American football. Although Ronaldo and Messi have found their way into a Chapter 3 teaser, it is safe to say that Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 will not be about soccer. And Huggy won't be playing it in Chapter 3. Oh well. Leith Pierre's letter we discussed in another video. So let me just remind you what Leith Pierre, the notorious head of innovation, wrote. He wrote, it cost us lives. What Leith Pierre is referring to here is Experiment 1170, which is the code name of Huggy Wuggy. The teaser shows us a bunch of different faces. What is interesting is that Experiment 1170 caused many casualties. And, which is interesting, two of the casualties are none other than some of the world's most famous soccer players, Ronaldo and Messi. What? So, what happened here? Why are Ronaldo and Messi part of the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 teaser? Well, it turns out that the reasons behind this are probably rather simple. So, if you are looking for a juicy conspiracy theory or if you think that the developers of Poppy Playtime are huge Messi and Ronaldo fans, I will have to disappoint you. Oh, no. Sure, they might be huge fans of Messi and Ronaldo, but the very similar looks of those famous soccer players to the Playtime staff casualties, are purely coincidental and have probably nothing to do with the developers themselves but everything with how artificial intelligence works so what happened how come ronaldo and messi ended up in the second poppy playtime chapter 3 teaser it probably has everything to do with how the algorithms that power artificial intelligence work let me explain this via an example when the AI creates a person that does not exist, and, if and when you are satisfied with what the AI created, you can, for a small fee, you can download a full image of that artificially created person. As you can see here, it's so easy to do. You can pick a gender, an ethnicity, an age, and let the AI create a person for you. Every time you click the refresh button, a newly rendered, or created, person shows up. Remember, none of these pictures are pictures of real people, but they are artificially created to look like real people. People you might meet on a daily basis in real life. That's how impressive the technology has become. Remember that AI face generators are not perfect. For example, they can be trained on biased datasets, leading to issues with accuracy and representation. They also raise ethical concerns, as AI face generators have the potential for misuse in deep fakes or other forms of malicious content. Additionally, the uncanny valley effect may also be part of AI face generators. For example, the AI face generator may sometimes appear almost natural but may fall short of being truly convincing, resulting in a sense of unease or discomfort in viewers. We are speculating, but the dataset was probably fed with real pictures of Ronaldo and Messi, and those pictures were mixed with other pictures, resulting in the AI creating a Ronaldo or a Messi look-alike. There you have it, now you know the likely reason why Ronaldo and Messi are in the second Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 teaser. Chapter 3 will most likely be the biggest of all the Poppy Playtime chapters. If you enjoyed this video, Please watch some of our other videos on Chapter 3 or some of the other content on this channel. Let us not forget that in Chapter 3 we will most likely get introduced to an orphanage. An orphanage that was founded by the founder of Playtime Co. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.